I'm uh, excited to get to talk about this show. I admittedly have been a big fan of it since it started on Fox years ago and have enjoyed the journey since. Um, so with that said, I mean, it's it's been so long, I feel, since we got to see this show come back. What was it like for both of you when you finally got your hands on the scripts for the new season? You know, we had our hands on the scripts um, prior. And um, I have to say, I never read them. And one of my cast members was really upset with me because <laughs> he kept saying, did you read it yet? Did you did you read it yet? And I go, nope. And he said, why not? I said, because it may be a while. <laughs> so I was with Penny on that one. I didn't read them either. It was like, OK, which which one are we doing today? I don't know. Because <laughs> it, it was so surreal. You never knew when you were going back to work. And, and why put that in your head? Because I'll be honest, when I get a script in my head, I'm just living Claire in different pieces of life outside of, you know, being on the set. And actually, I just kind of really dug being Penny for a while. <laughs> and I have it in my head. Sure, I, I can appreciate that, especially when Claire is dealing with the, as many threats as she is. Sometimes you just want to relax a little bit, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, so then what was it like for both of you when you did finally step back on set uh, after all that time? Well, I mean, I think, you know, Penny and I have discussed that it was scary because also, you know, you're coming back from pandemic and, you know, we shot a little bit before, but then we had that big shutdown. And so we had that big gap in between. And for me, it was a little bit of a start over like, OK, what's my character? Who am I? It's been a year. Um, but then also the fear factor of, of getting tested and, and hoping that, you know, your fellow man are going to be, you know, trustworthy and, and, you know, stay out of trouble and wear their mask and whatnot. So there were a lot of different things, elements that I think we were all juggling when we came back. And, and that's a big job though, too. We were tested every day, even if you didn't work. And sometimes I, I have to say it was frustrating because you'd want to like have a day you never had a day off no so imagine you know normally you'd you know have a few days off and then you can plan something but during the pandemic we never had a day off no because and, and a lot of us don't live near the studio so it was like a whole day of travel back and forth yeah and we tested on sundays too so um it was testing 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 but the biggest fear i have to say um i just had that thought, and this was a fear, was that I thought that my kids would be married with children by the time we got back to work. <laughs> I mean, BJ is like six foot seven. That it's was the funniest crazy. thing. I mean, they started out being these little shrimp. I mean, I could look at them eye to eye. We ended up, I have to look up now, and I go, wait a minute, are we gonna do our scenes for this? It's this kid now on his knees? I mean, what? I know. <laughs> with all the years, the continuity is hilarious. Like between know, that was hair, weight, <laughs> kids growing up. <laughs> it's just a and whole they grew thing. up mid. I mean, we shot one episode and we didn't shoot the rest of it until the end. So I think thing. BJ must have been, what, 12 inches taller by the last genuinely he's so much taller than me i mean he's six <laughs> so tall six amazing five. voice getting all deep and weird he's 18 now i, I mean, can't believe 18. that i have a man <laughs> <laughs> i will admit i also i was a little caught off guard and, and the the opening of the first screener i had where i i'm like wait is is that Oh my God, he grew. <laughs> I mean, I know what happens, but at the same time, I was like, wow, it just, he, he really did grow pretty quickly in that time. Um, so, uh, Adrian, I'll go, I'll go to you next. Uh, since, uh, you, you both were trying to find your, your characters again, uh, in that time, in that downtime, what was it like trying to find that rapport with Seth again, uh, after all, all that time in between productions? You know, that's, that's easy. That's old hat. Like Seth and I have known each other for 14 years and we've been dear friends. And I think that that, I think that helps with the Kelly and um, Ed relationship a lot. So we just kind of fell back into that. And, you know, it's fun to have a little bit of poking the bear with that guy. You know what I mean? I love their relationship. 
their relationship is is uh really been quite a joy to to watch evolve from the the hatefulness of the early episodes to where it is now and with that said uh i mean season two ended with their relationship still kind of in limbo and the episodes i've seen so far have not really addressed anything so can you give me any insight on on whether we can expect a, an evolution in that in that field there will always be an evolution and it's not the only relationship to watch for Okay. I, I like that yeah. tease. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, there, there's other people on the ship. So there are. I, I know <laughs> I <told> myself that. <laughs> and so Penny for you, I mean, what, what can we expect from, from Claire this season? I mean, uh, we, you know, obviously as a single mother, she's always focused on Ty and Marcus, but there's always so much going on with the ship and then her own relationship with Isaac. So, I mean, what, what all can we expect from, from Claire? You are so sweet not to name her a slut because I feel like Claire <laughs> has, has not a slut. She slept with every little edge, didn't you? She, I mean, Yafet, you know. Um, uh, no, nah, she was involved. under the influence Isaac and, of something. That's I, I not know, her just, doing. If anybody's a slut, it's Kelly. Who isn't she with? <laughs> I think that. Um, <laughs> There are so many relationships to look out for. Uh, I, I have to agree uh, this this coming season and um, all of them are unexpected. I I can say that all all of the relationships that you see are unexpected and uh, some are beautiful. Uh, some are violently delicious. That's kind of crazy to put that together, but trust me on that one. Um, <laughs> um, and you'll see growth for every character. I think every character goes through a growth spurt. And um, I think that was probably due to the fact that even though we got the scripts before the, the pandemic, I think that Seth even before that, he had an opportunity, a longer opportunity to write these. And I think the man just went crazy. I think it went buck wild. And, you know, his, I, I don't know, maybe he was drinking too much and said, oh, yeah, let's uh, this. And somehow it works. I have so to tell you. It's not an issue. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it works. So, you guys are going to have fun. And I know you saw the first episode and, and, and the third episode. And oh my gosh, I was so impressed with them. But do know you don't stop there. It gets there better. So much. They get gooder and gooder. <laughs> Oh, I have I have no intention with stopping with those two. I intend to to keep going because uh, I was telling Peter and Chad and and uh, uh, Mark in the other room, but like I rewatched the first two seasons before I watched the screeners because I I wanted to get refamiliarized with everybody and and I, I just I love this this show. It's great. Thank um, you for doing that. That that makes your questions uh, that much more interesting. Exactly. It's it's it it. I enjoy being as familiar as I can with with what I I am asking about, you know. And and plus, uh, with a show that's as good as this, you always want to revisit it. I mean, seeing everybody's antics, uh, the the Yafit episode, as you mentioned, was is funny with uh, uh, Alana walking in and <laughs> freaking out. It's just it's it's a fun ride. Um. So since. I do met, bring up Yafit. Uh, I mean, last year or we did unfortunately lose Norm recently. And I know with an animated character, they're not always on set, the voice actors. But I mean, what was it like for both of you uh, hearing that news of, of Norm's passing? Well, it was he was way too young. It was um, surreal. It was so weird and surreal. And, it, and it's a bummer. I mean, definitely, you know, Yafit had much more uh, to do in the series. And, you know, sadly, we lost um, not just Norm, but the character a little bit. It was, um, we were here in New York doing something. I think it was Comic-Con and I was walking in the theater district and I saw um, a billboard of Norm and he was performing at this club. So I took a picture of it and I brought it back and showed a couple of people. And I was just so excited that, you know, Norm had his New York stuff. And then this happened. And I realized, wow, what a, 
What you may not know this though, Adrian, is that I worked with him before and he and I never brought that up because we probably both forgot. But I was looking at old episodes of the Larry Sanders show and I saw Norm and I went, I knew it. I knew we had worked together. And Beverly, but that was my character that Beverly and Norm had a full on sheen. And one thing that was wonderful about him then and on our show is that he has the ability to laugh at himself. Yes. And that is like what's going to be me. missed. Yeah. Wonderful person. Yeah, Norm's Norm's presence will certainly be missed on this show. Uh, even even though he in person was only there once or twice uh, in the simulator, he's still Yafit was always such a a, a fun character and and uh, and and had more layers to him that I, I would have loved to have seen. So he will be missed. Um, so with this season though, uh, there is the transition from Fox to Hulu. And so I'm curious for both of you, did you notice any kind of, uh, differences in the production or in the atmosphere on set or in, you know, any kind of element like that? Well, I think, I I think it allowed us to have a little bit more freedom. Um, obviously content, I think speech, but also the, the amount of time that we had to shoot the episodes, you know, it was, um, a little freer, I think, ultimately. Penny, what do you I, think? I, well, when I first heard it, I was on a bus with most of the rest of us, and I was pissed. <laughs> because <laughs> I was pissed because why weren't we told? And I didn't understand it at all. And then I truly understood it. I understood that it was the best choice ever because this is not a show that you can just sit and you're going to watch episode after episode after episode. These are freaking movies. Mm -hmm. And if we were not on Hulu, we would not have been allowed the freedom to really do that. The um, the, more time means uh, more investment in storytelling. And the production values are just through the roof. I mean, maybe Hulu is just super rich or maybe it's somebody else we know. Uh, (laughs) uh, The production values are just just amazing. So I am happy that it happened, but I'm not going to lie. I was pissed when I heard. I don't like moving around like that. But it it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It makes total sense. And that's the evolution of the show. If you really, because you've gone back and rewatched a bunch of them, if not all of them. And it's really funny season to season to see this evolution. And this year, literally, we're making epic mini movies. I mean, they're full on movies. Months to do (laughs) one show, one episode, you know, so yeah, no, definitely. Uh, season two definitely felt like it had a uh, better grip on its its tonal balance of Seth's unique comedy and its its space bearing adventures. And this one feels like something totally unique. Uh, so I, I I agree. It's a, a good it's a good place for it. Hulu. Uh, I think it's it's going to be great to help it grow further. Um. So with that said, then, uh, since you do mention the higher production values, I mean, can you give me a tease of what some of the set pieces we can expect uh, for both of your characters in this season? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> we can't. I, I, you know, when you watched episode uh, the, the third uh, episode three, the one that you did see, did you see Gordon on that ship? Was that like the coolest piece of. Was that beautiful? That I was mean, pretty awesome. That That's was pretty beautiful. awesome. So I have to say that if- Love playing that thing. Yeah, oh, if, that, if, it, if, it, if it, that's it. the foundation of change and how exciting it is, then let's start. That's where the bar is set for the rest of the season. I think well, that's, that's the, enough. That's, <laughs> that's a pretty good bar. Better, guys. better and better and better. <laughs> well, that's a that's a pretty good bar to start at then. And I, I'm excited to see the rest of it. So thank you both so much for taking the time to chat with me. I really do appreciate it. 